Hey everybody, welcome to Brickfall. Lately we've been working on a lot of projects doing a ton of Lego building and there's a few things that we're really excited about. But first off, if you're unaware of our Lego web store, we've recently updated it and there's a lot of really cool stuff. So we've just recently launched this web store that sells mock instructions, and we thought this would be a better way to help support us as opposed to maybe something like donations or Patreon. The money from buying the instructions goes basically straight back into more creations. You, along the way, would also get to build an awesome Lego mock, and it also helps support the builders that we work with. Currently, there are four mocks up for sale right now at the web store with several other projects in the works, and right now we're sort of focusing on perfect minifig scale ships. As far as we're concerned, these are the best versions of any type of vehicle built at this minifig scale for the Star Wars universe. And we're really happy with the way these models have turned out. The first model here that we've finished most recently is the Ghost, the Carillion Transport. This is the main ship from the Star Wars Rebel Show. It's approximately 12,000 pieces being the biggest thing we've ever built. And it was a bit of a collaborative project, but the lead builder, Sean Miller, did an excellent job bringing this ship to life. The other gargantuan build we have is the AT-AT and ATACT combo pack. The base body between these two walkers is relatively the same, while there is a different build for the head and those orange panels, depending on whether you want to switch between both mocks. You have the choice basically for either or within the instructions. The designer Rich Boy J has made this minifig scale walker especially cool to me just because it is so darn sturdy when it stands up, which is a really hard thing to do with a design like this. The last two builds come from the designer Jarek, they are part of the TIE collection. We've got the TIE Fighter as well as the TIE Interceptor built to original trilogy minifig scale. And I said it before in the review, but I'll say it again. These are the best versions of the TIE Fighter and the TIE Interceptor that I've ever seen. The studless wings look amazing. The round part of the eyeball cockpit never looked more round. And the connection points and general accuracy of these builds are just off the chart. Now, if you're interested in any of the instructions here or just generally interested in getting into more serious Lego mock building and you're unsure as to sort of how to get started in our frequently asked questions section, our FAQ, I've created a short video that goes through a few things that uh, I think would be helpful for most beginners, sort of like navigating digital formats like LDD, uploading your parts list to Bricklink, as well as general store search and practices you should employ when buying your parts. And if you've watched the video and tried some of these steps yourself and you're still confused, there is always a contact us section as well. And I have to say, I'm not too bad at responding back with your questions pretty quickly. The last part of the site is a sell your design section. Here you can submit a picture of your mock with the description. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, our standards are pretty darn high when it comes to submitting a mock, so don't fret if yours doesn't get accepted. And being doubly honest with you guys, I literally just thought of this right now as I was recording this for the video. But of those mocks that are submitted that we don't think quite makes the mark, we would still like to promote during our Sunday Top 10 Mocks episode. And once we have enough really cool submissions, I'd like to bring you guys, the viewers, in on the mix where you can vote for your favorite designs and the winner of the votes will end up getting their mock put up in the web store. Remember guys, there is a rev share split between the designer and us for the sale of the instructions. So don't be shy for submitting your ideas, but remember to bring your A game. All right, so that is the web store. And there's one other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I'm really excited for. And that is this weekend, we're going to Bricks LA. That is in Pasadena, California. It's uh, January 5th and 6th, I believe. Doors open at 10 a.m. on both days. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty darn sure. And it's the first time we've ever actually been a, a displayer at an event. We've gone to several events before, checked it out, filmed, but this is the first time we're bringing our stuff and showing off the things we've been building. And all the mocks that you saw from the web store are going to be there, plus a couple other ones. We got some other big ones, some other small ones that are gonna be there. We're really excited. It's our first time ever displaying at an event, so I don't really know what to expect from that side. I have visited these places before. I've gone to Bricks LA a couple of times before, but this is the first time displaying, so we're super stoked. If you do end up going and you see us, say hi, come over to the table, whatever. I have a feeling we're gonna be in the Star Wars section for a good portion of the day, just a feeling. But anyways, that's this weekend, January 5th and 6th, Pasadena, California, Bricks LA. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.